Oh, Roy, me lover, he's an handsome bay, ain't it? Where are you two? And where's they two? I gotta go up Astro's old testicles to do me lotteries. Get on ya, Jenner. Green Army! Green Army! Hello everyone, this is Billy. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about Plymouth dialect words and phrases. The Plymouth dialect is one of the most distinctive dialects in Southwest England, and it's also called Janna. Then let's take a look at some Janna words and phrases. The first one is all right. You can guess what it means, right? All right is all right, and this word has been made because of the Janna accent. In Janna, I sound changes into oi sound, so people in Plymouth say all right instead of all right. So when Janna say hello to their mates, they use this word and usually put the phrase me lover and say like all right me lover. In this phrase, lover doesn't necessarily mean someone who you have a relationship with. In Plymouth, lover can mean anyone who seems nice. How lovely. So when you want to say hello to Janice in a friendly way, you can say like, Oroi me lover. Then let's see how different it is. You're right, mate. Oroi me lover. You're right, mate. Oroi me lover. The next one is bay. You might think of the word bay, B-A-E bay, but B-E-Y bay has a slightly different meaning. In the Plymouth dialect, bay means mate or boy, so there's no romantic meaning attached to this word, like B-A-E bay. So when Janus call someone bay, they are just friendly calling someone. They also call someone bird, and that's not because that person always flies away or looks like an actual bird. In Janna, bird means a female friend or a female member of the family. Then let's take a look at an example sentence. He's your handsome and nice mate, isn't he? He's an handsome bay, isn't it? He's your handsome and nice mate, isn't he? He's an handsome bay, isn't it? The next phrase is, where are you two? Well, this phrase seems like it's grammatically wrong or something's missing, but it's a proper Janna phrase. You might guess it could mean, where are you going to? But in the Plymouth dialect, where you two means where are you? Janus tend to say two even though it doesn't mean any direction. So they also say like where is it to and it doesn't mean where is it going to. Where is it to simply means where is it. So don't be confused. Then let's see how different it is. Where are you and where is it? Where are you two and where is it to? Where are you and where is it? Where are you two? And where are they two? The next word is asters. Can you guess what it means? In the Plymouth dialect, asters means aster. In Plymouth, people tend to put s at the end of some words. So besides asters, Janice also say Tesco's instead of just Tesco, Aldi's instead of just Aldi, and lotteries instead of the national lottery. Then let's take a look at an example sentence. I've got to go to Asta or Tesco to do the national lottery. I got to go to Asta's or Tesco to do my lotteries. I've got to go to Asta or Tesco to do the national lottery. I got to go to Asta's or Tesco to do my lotteries. The next one is get on. Get on actually means get on, and in Jenna, get on is used as a form of greeting or encouragement. So people in Plymouth could say like get on bay to say hello or to even say goodbye. They could also say like, get on mare, to encourage their mates. Then let's take a look at an example sentence. Hello, my Plymouth friend. Get on ya, Jenner. Hello, my Plymouth friend. Get on ya, Jenner. The last one is Green Army. This word seems to be related to military, but it's not. In Janna, Green Army means Plymouth Argyle Football Club, and I guess that's because Plymouth football players wear green uniforms. People in Plymouth are also enthusiastic football fans like other British football fans. So in Plymouth, you can hear football fans shout this phrase, Green Army. If you want to support Plymouth Argyle Football Club, you can just shout back this phrase, Green Army, when you hear someone shout it. Like this. Go Plymouth Argyle FC! Green Army! Green Army! Go Plymouth Argyle FC! Green Army! Now we know some Plymouth dialect words and phrases. I know my Janna accent is not perfect, but I hope this video helps you understand some Janna. 
And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video, and I'll see you next time. Get on! Mm -hmm.